Hello lovely viewers, in this short lesson, we shall be discussing the role of Cabria in Faceless by Amadaku. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates on all our new videos. Cabria is the mother of three and wife of a daddy who still believes in a male-dominated world. Cabria balances and effectively combines her role as a wife and a mother and a working class woman. She is a member of Mute. On one occasion, when she visited the Agogoshi market in Accra to get some vegetables before going home, her purse was stolen by Fufu, disguised as the boy. Instead of being excited that her purse was recovered, she intervenes to prevent the boy from being subjected to mob justice. She even told a lie that she knows the boy and then bribes the men prevent them from beating him. After saving Fufu from the angry mob, she gave her money to buy food. While at the market, on a different occasion, she heard people discussing the death of an unknown girl. She draws out an initiative to interview the people in the market. Different stories were heard and this information proves useful in their subsequent investigation. Even though Cabra meets Fofo accidentally, she connects her to Mute in an attempt to expose all those involved in the death of Big T. Cabra is a caring wife and mother. She wakes up early morning to prepare breakfast for her husband and children. She sends her children to and from school in her old car, which she nicknamed Creamy. Generally speaking, the novelist used Cabra to portray to the world the possibility that a woman can combine her role as a wife and a mother and still work effectively. Cabra is not only instrumental for drawing Mew's attention to the death of Baby T, she also participates in the rehabilitation process of Fufu in order to give her a new life. The way Cabra runs her home contrasts sharply with that of Masuru, therefore, the novelist endorses Cabra's life as an ideal one for the African woman. Thanks for watching this short lesson. See you in our next video.